Everybody loves catching bass on top water. You get to see some of the most explosive strikes of the entire year. And it's just, it's a really engaging way to fish. You get to see the action of the bait working. You get to see the fish actually eat the bait. But for me as a tournament guy, I love walking style baits, you know, walk the dog style baits. It allows me to cover a lot of water, but I catch a lot of my biggest fish of the year on big top water walking baits. You know, it's just, it's a bait for me that in the summertime, I've always got it tied on. This one is the Storm Arashi, it's a top walker 13. It's a little bit bigger than a lot of your normal walk the dog style baits, but there's reasons for that. You get in situations where you've got dirtier water. Those fish, they need to be able to see that bait. They need to be able to hear it. And a bigger bait like that is just gonna push a lot more water. When I'm fishing walk the dog style baits like the Stormarashi Top Walker, I'm always gonna try to make my cast next to an edge or some type of cover where those fish have an ambush point. So I'll make a long cast down a grass line I'll let my bait sit for just a second, let the ripples clear, and then I'm gonna make one quick little jerk of the rod, and that's gonna get that bait to dart side to side now. You wanna make sure that you have just a little bit of play in your line, a little bit of slack, and that's what's gonna allow that bait to dive side to side out on your retrieve. And once you get that cadence started, it's really important to pay attention to what that bait's doing and keep a good, just kind of steady cadence and you're going to do that with that little bit of slack in your line and movement of the rod tip and you're going to kind of slowly reel at the same time just picking up that extra slack line but not picking up too much you always want to leave just a little bit of slack to allow that bait to dive side to side i'll fish this bait like i said in a lot of different scenarios around grass rock wood and in a lot of different water clarities. Kind of a general rule of thumb, the dirtier the water is, kind of the slower I'll fish that bait. Cause those fish, they need to be able to find the bait. They need to be able to track it. In clear water, I'm gonna fish this bait extremely fast just because those fish, they're sight feeders and moving that bait just helps me get more strikes. The nice thing with walking baits is you can stop them around key pieces of cover. Because I come by a piece of grass or if I come by a log and I think there may be a bass there, I can do a quick little directional change and stop that bait. And that'll trigger a lot of strikes. And when you look at this bait, you can see from this bottom side, it's got rotated hook hangers like a lot of the other baits in the Arashi lineup. It's got a really loud rattle, so it's gonna attract those fish from a long distance. And having an extra treble hook up there, having three trebles, is really important for me just because it's gonna help with the hookup ratio, help with the landing ratio of having just an extra treble up there. Got him! Got him! Come on, stay on there. You can see a big bait like that with those flat sides that pushes a lot of water sometimes is really important in that dirtier water to draw those fish up a bait that they can see, a bait they can hear, super important. <laughs>